So I've got the Comcast router in here. So we're gonna go out. We're going to Comcast today and we're going to Bolingbrook. It's hot right now and I already showered and today it's like last couple days, even working in the garage, especially, um, it's like you shower, you go outside for three minutes and feel like you gotta shower again. So yeah, it's pretty humid. Like at night during the, uh, let's say after like 9 p.m., maybe even around midnight, it's really cool in the garage and I don't mind being outside at all like at night because the sun's not hitting the garage and you don't really need a whole lot of airflow. It's just got two little fans in there. So I like showered <laughs> and then go outside and it's like, dang, I don't know. It's so pointless. Yeah, we're gonna, we're going to Bolingbrook. It's kind of a drive, but that seems to be the closest Comcast store. You know, I haven't been driving as much because I've been so busy with work. Actually, just today, I went over to Frank's house, my business partner, and I brought some equipment to him that he needed, and I got some equipment from him that I needed. So we kind of just swapped gear um, because, you know, we haven't gone through like all the boxes, and he's like maybe halfway set up because he got kind of like 75% of the stuff from the office. Maybe he got most of it. And, um, you know, he's got it like kind of set up, but there's still a lot of boxes to go through, cables to organize, stuff like that. And uh, I'm probably gonna have to go over there and help him do some uh, internet networking setup. So we're not there yet, but we're getting pretty close. And um, cause ideally with video production, let's say you edit something on one computer, well, what we did in our office when we had six or seven employees, we actually had, um, I think, 12, about 12 desks. Maybe we had more, I'm not sure. But we had about 12 desks. And those 12 desks were really for the people in office. So me and Frank, we worked from home for like years. Uh, and, and we did go into the office and whatever. But most of the computers were just solely for employees and their use. So what we would do is two computers would work for like one employee basically because they would edit on one and then they would set up another for like rendering those videos since we would deal with 4K video and the camera footage was very, very high bitrate. Sometimes an employee would use up to like three or four computers because they would render, you know, one or two projects on this computer, one or two projects on another computer. And uh, it's pretty common for us to use like multiple computers per person. So that's why we have like all these computers and uh, all this extra stuff. So at Frank's house, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up maybe four computers. Um, he's gonna, ha he has his like desk uh, or whatever, that, like his main work desk. But I think he's got two desks downstairs, one for his Mac and another for like um, ingestion and you know, the compute, the actual PC. And then we're gonna probably set up three or four other computers that are just for rendering. And like I said, we're not buying anything. We already got all this stuff. But, um, you know, just having extra render computers is super useful in video production because you're not waiting around, you know, whatever. And we would also use extra computers for file transfers too. So sometimes you would upload a file or download a file and it would just take a day, you know, it'd take a long time. So instead of doing that on your main computer or your render station, you know, you, you just have different computers and that makes it a heck of a lot easier so you're not worried about, you know, rebooting or things slowing down or whatever. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna get set up again and right now the work is still pretty light. I think we do a lot of stuff from our laptop still and Nick, my other business partner, he's got uh, workstation he's got two computers at his house so you know he he's good and I've of course got multiple computers because look at me you know so anyways I think we're almost there uh, I know I'm not talking about much people are getting annoyed with me because I'm in the left lane 
but that sounds like a their problem and not a my problem you know what i mean because i'm going i'm scooting along and uh you drive along in the other lane and you'll be all right so but actually i think the thing will be on the right side it's just been a lot of traffic so i haven't been able to get over but um man it actually feels nice to get out of the house because i've been all cooped up and uh, i think the last time i really went anywhere was to go fishing and um I guess we're stopping so i'm not quite sure where this is i'm looking for a jewel because i know it's by the jewel so i think it's a little bit further down i'm just not sure like how much might have to whip out my phone and you know do that but uh, it's over here somewhere But yeah, this heat kind of feels good when you're cruising. Feel like, um, you know, maybe I should cruise a little bit more, but I've been trying to do more chores for my wife. And uh, I don't know, I, sp I think I spend a lot of time with my baby and my wife, you know. Um, but I've been trying to do more and um, so I don't know, I just haven't really had like free time to scoot around, you know. Is it in here? Yes, it is. So that's the Xfinity store and hopefully they will allow it. And uh, we're here. Are they open? The dude told me they were open. All right, fellas, we are good to go uh, I could go back the same way or I could go on a little adventure because I am not too familiar with this area over here and um, that would that would be kind of cool if we just did a little detour on the way back dropped everything off you know, I just don't want to get charged like 20 bucks a month and um, I called like at first Originally, I tried to go to UPS and because their, you know, website and Comcast, they're always like, just go to UPS and whatever, and they'll like box it up and ship it out. And then I go to UPS and UPS is like, actually, because of the pandemic, we can't box it up because we can't print labels or something. And so I've been waiting to do this for like a month or like a little while. I don't know how long. And um, just kind of glad. I can get this done because uh, I don't want to get charged 20 bucks a month for not returning a router you know what I mean so that would be a waste of money 20 bucks a month man what could I do with 20 bucks a month I could drive this thing probably what like six gas tanks that would be like probably 750 miles or so be quite a bit so ain't no need to waste twenty dollars you know what i mean you know you probably see my surroundings and you're like hey i think i know where he's at but that's just because america looks the same everywhere you go now and it wasn't always like that like if you go back to i don't know i want to say like 10 or 20 years ago like when i used to go to south dakota south dakota actually looked different than illinois but now, recently, like I went um, to my grandma's funeral uh, just before the pandemic hit. And, um, you know, I went for my cousin's wedding before that. And I go, you know, from time to time. I used to go as a kid to visit my family and grandparents all the time. But South Dakota actually looks different. Not just landscape. I mean, like the buildings, the businesses, you know. Uh, now, it's like everywhere you go in the United States, Arizona, Wisconsin, you know, Minnesota, South Dakota, wherever you go, it's like the same. It's like Starbucks, McDonald's, you know, this chain, this chain, and it's like, you know, nothing really special or different about living in different areas now. You know what I mean? It's, it's just sad. 
But if you go back 20 years, like I was saying, like you couldn't even get cell phone service out in uh, South Dakota. It was like 2G only all the time. Maybe not even whatever was before that. It was like terrible. And um, just going into like certain rooms, you couldn't get cell phone coverage. And I know it's like that for some people based on what you have, but I've always had AT&T. And so AT&T has like pretty decent coverage, right? And um, you know, I just, every time I go to South Dakota now, it's like, you're still connected. You're still, you know, can go to Starbucks because you know, just 10 years ago, I don't think there were as many Starbucks in South Dakota. If you wanted coffee, you know, you had to, you know, go wherever or, you know, buy it, bring it. And um, it's still like that in a couple places in South Dakota. Like when I go visit my one grandparents, um, I don't know what that guy's doing. When I go visit my one grandparents, they're in like Mitchell, which is a little bit past South, or sorry, Sioux Falls. You know, Sioux Falls is like the major city in South Dakota. So from Chicago to Sioux Falls, you know, most of the way it's like inhabited. And then maybe a little bit after you pass the road that goes to, I don't know, maybe it's Albert Lee or Minnesota, you know? Um, once you get past that, it's just like empty. <laughs> and, um, you know, so, so Sioux Falls to Mitchell, it's pretty empty. There's no like, there's not even like fast food, you know? And um, like on the road. And so, I don't know, it's something nice about going back to that where you have to like stock up when you go out to travel like you're at a um, like when you're at a rest stop and you got to stock up you know or you're in a city and you got to like get your food and go to the bathroom I don't know that kind of was like that for us when we did our honeymoon uh, we honeymooned and uh, you know where whatchamacallit uh, upper Michigan so in Upper Michigan you know you had to like get all your stuff like two hours before you really get there or maybe it was even three hours because the interstate just stops as you're going north uh, through Wisconsin they're just like nope we're done with this and it goes down to like smaller roads you know and there's something exciting about that like about I don't know, like the frontier that is less traveled or the frontier that, you know, is still kind of not totally tamed. You know, I like that. And uh, it's appealing. I think it's appealing to a lot of people because the monotony of like a city and a suburb and everything, like all this grass, clean cut, you know, I, I don't know. There's something about like the forest, the plains, about the different landscapes that just make you feel something, you know? Like, we're not, I, don't, I really don't feel like we're supposed to live in these, like, habitats where you got, like, a little fenced-off parcel of land. I mean, maybe, I don't know, but, like, that parcel of land is very small, right? We're talking, like, a quarter of an acre versus, like, if you go by the population of the whole world and how much land there is, each person would be able to have, like, five acres of land. You know what I mean? And just imagine you and your wife, 10 acres of land. You and your kids, you know, if you have three kids, that's 25 acres of land. You know what I mean? So I don't know if everybody's supposed to live so close together, you know? Like there's, there's no reason. And I think most people can sustain themselves off like an acre of land, you know, between a couple animals and um, some farming. But I don't know, I don't think people want to live like that. And now, like, people are bored, right? Like, what do you do with all your extra time if you're not growing food and you're not, like, tending to your garden, so to speak, right? If you're not doing that, well, you're on Facebook, you're on Reddit, you're on Instagram or TikTok or whatever you're on. And you're, like, out partying and you're socializing. And, you know, it's just, I mean, it's all empty at the end of the day. There's nothing to show for any of that stuff. It's all, like gone you know it's gone the moment it happens and uh you know some people will say like memories memories but i don't know i've i've always had a deeper connection with like the work that i've done 
versus people that I've hung out with. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And and just look at these houses. It don't. I always joke that it's like communism is happening because when you look at these houses, there's no trees. There's nothing to like spruce it up. It's just a sad, you know, giant shell that you hide in, you know, all day. And I don't know. I don't really want to live in just like a giant shell. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to be fast enough. These people are going to get angry. But come on, little scooter. Oh, it looks like I got to fill up gas again. I think when I started, I had like a quarter tank. So I probably got enough. I probably got plenty. Oh, they got stopped at a stoplight back there. So I'm good. I can build some distance. I don't know. I don't think YouTube is like a healthy habit for a lot of people, you know? Especially for kids. Like, my kid is not going to have access to a phone unfettered or like a tablet unfettered or a computer unfettered they're gonna get the phone like when they're a teenager maybe and with limitations the computer i'm okay with them getting into more early but they can't just have like whatever they want on it you know you can't like just have a computer in your room you know i want my kid i think is ahead of the curve a little bit because he's not watching TV and he's, uh, you know, doing his own thing physically. He's always exploring outside, you know. I think he's got pretty good um, motor skill development and he's learned a lot just by not watching the TV so much. So maybe he doesn't have as good of a vocabulary yet because he's only hearing me and my wife, in-laws, and he doesn't hear a whole lot of, like, talking. But we put the radio on while he's playing and you know stuff like that i mean we do talk enough so you know and i try to like walk him through different words and you know talk to him as i'm pointing things out teaching him different words and concepts but um i don't know i don't know like i i mean i get it like just turn on the tv and that's your babysitter but i think it's unhealthy man like the kid really gets a lot out of exploring and uh, just, you know, doing new things. Like, you know, yesterday I gave him an acorn. It's like, here, what is this? You know, it's like, and he's looking at it or whatever. And, um, you know, he's walking around a lot outside. Um, it's hot, so I'm going to lift this up. But, man, that summer smell, when I uh, lift up the visor and I can smell the summer air just takes you back you know it takes me back and makes me want to just not work as much or not I don't know I don't know like especially after this pandemic thing it's like why bother you know so yeah sometimes I get on the scooter and I'm like or right before I ride and I'm like what am I going to talk about and then I have plenty to talk about you know and um it's a little bit therapeutic for me to just kind of spill my guts, tell somebody, you know, I ain't really got, you know, my life isn't like that crazy, just a normal dude with a wife and a kid, business owner in Chicago suburbs, and, uh, you know, business got blown up with this stupid pandemic, but... Just another thing off my checklist, you know? I feel like I got a lot of things off my checklist just recently. But yeah, I think if I could get like, I don't really wanna do YouTube professionally, but I think if I got more subscribers, then maybe I would, I don't know. I, I'd have to figure out like what people like in my channel. And I'm still kind of figuring out like, do people like this content? Do they like this content? Do they like this? You know, that's why my content's kind of like all over the place too. Um, I mean, I talk about usually just whatever I want to. Like this isn't a motorcycle channel. I just drive my scooter because it's convenient. Like I don't have to spend extra time, you know, recording the videos, right? 
So I don't know. I don't think I need gas, but I'll probably get gas the next time I ride. I don't really feel like doing it right now. I guess I could. I don't know. What should I do? I'd rather get gas when I'm like running an errand, you know? Like if I'm gonna go do something, then I'll do it. Sometimes I like to do this. I don't know why. It's kind of fun. So you can be like on the curb. I don't know, it's dumb, but I think it's funny. Because when you're in a car, it's like, oh, don't hit the curb. But in a motorcycle, it's like, I want to touch the curb. You know? It's like the opposite. I mean, obviously, I don't want to run into the curb. But, you know, putting your foot along it. And it's like a escalator railing, you know? Like, you want to dance. And we're back home. The mail has been coming really late recently, you know? Typically the mail was coming like 1 to 3, I don't know, like in the afternoon. Now it's coming like, dude, it's almost, it's got to be like 6 or 7 at night, you know? Like what are they doing? Holding my mail for so long. How dare them?